how to develop lazy habits that are good for you. Sometimes it's healthier not to apply yourself, really. You will need an unmade bed, air-dried dishes, a less than clean home, naps, daydreams, and doodling. Step one, leave the bed unmade. It's more sanitary to pull back the covers and let the linens air out than to trap dust mites under the warm covers where they'll thrive. Step two, don't towel dry hand-washed dishes. Air drying is so much more hygienic that most restaurants are forbidden from using dish towels. Step three, don't go crazy keeping your house spick and span, especially if you have children. Many researchers support the so-called hygiene hypothesis, the theory that the bacteria, viruses, and worms that enter our bodies via dirt are necessary to develop an immune system capable of fighting back against these invaders. Step four, take half-hour naps a few times a week. People who do have lower rates of death from heart disease. Aim for seven to eight hours of sleep per night in addition to naps. Step five, go ahead and doodle as the boss drones on. Research shows that scribbling when you're bored improves concentration and memory. Step six, don't feel guilty about daydreaming. Scientists have discovered it's actually a stimulating mental activity that prepares the brain for complex problem solving. Did you know Americans spent $3.5 billion on reclining chairs and sofas in 2008? 